identifying parenchyma and sclerenchyma tissues. A. To identify parenchyma and sclerenchyma tissues from prepared permanent slides and to draw their label diagrams. Apparatus Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Procedure Examine the permanent slides of parenchyma tissue under the compound microscope. Start observing first under low magnification and then under high magnification. Note down the characteristic features. Draw a label diagram of what you actually see through the microscope. Observations and inferences A. Parenchyma tissue It is a simple tissue having isodiametric cells, cells having equal dimensions. Cells in the tissue have thin cell walls. The cells may be round, cubical, polygonal or elongated in shape. Each cell has one or more large sized vacuoles. Each cell has a prominent nucleus in the granular cytoplasm. Chloroplasts may be present in the cell. Air cavities may be present in the cells. Intercellular spaces are usually present but may be absent in certain types of cells. Example, epidermal cells. Xylem parenchyma. Parenchyma is usually found in the epidermis, cortex, xylem and phloem. The main function of the tissue is storage of food substances. Some cells may also perform other functions such as photosynthesis, protection by cells with cuticle, example epidermal cells and storage of air to help the plant float on water, example aranchyma. B. Sclerenchyma tissue. Examine the permanent slides of sclerenchyma tissue under the compound microscope. Start observing first under low magnification and then under high magnification. Usually, the cells of sclerenchyma have no cytoplasm or nuclei. The cells are dead. The cells are of polygonal shape. These cells have low water content. Cells occur close to each other with no intercellular spaces. Cells have long, narrow, tubular ducts, cavities called lumen cavities. The cell walls are thick and consist of primary and secondary walls. Cells show regular pits which are regions of unthickened spots in the cell walls. The function of sclerenchyma is to provide stiffness and give mechanical strength to the parts of the plant in which they occur. Sclerenchyma are seen in plant fibers example coir, jute and hemp and in seed coats arils of many dicots. Conclusion or Result